that's so unique could not recommend it enough which i was like most excited about why you got my stuff out <laughs> where are we going <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. Little Miss and I just finished doing her Trito for her advent calendar today. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you miss this because this is what we're doing every day on Instagram. Freya is obviously a huge fan. <laughs> but good morning, how are you guys doing today? Like literally answer me, comment down below, how are you guys doing? I am actually feeling kind of good today. I need to make breakfast still, which we're about to do, but I got finished editing like super early yesterday, like a 7 p.m. or something, and it felt really good because I literally just got to sit on the couch and do nothing. Like Griffin was just playing video games and I was watching him and then I fell asleep on the couch for a little bit and then we went to bed. Like it was so nice because normally for Vlogmas I'm up until like 2 a.m. editing and it's just not fun, you know? <laughs> so I'm happy that I got done early and I got to just sit around and do nothing for a couple hours. It feels good, I feel refreshed today, but I do need some breakfast. Alexa, play my Christmas playlist from Spotify. I have a lit Christmas from Spotify. You better watch out, you better not cry. Today's agenda, I do have to go into work today pretty soon. But what I do want to do today is do my like updated dog haul. You guys in Freya's 10 month pup date video, I showed you guys one of the new bags that I got. And then I said I got a whole bunch of other stuff. So y'all have been like, well, show us the other stuff. So I want to show you guys that because yes, I got the bag and I got a new leash and a collar. And then I got another leash, a new harness, two new harnesses actually, and another bag. And I think that's it. So I'm thinking I can get to that before I have to go to work, which would be perfect. Because by the time I come out of work, it'll be like dark and ugh, I hate that it gets dark so early. I have been saying this since it's November, but it literally ruins it for me. So I'm gonna finish my breakfast and then we can do the dog haul before I have to get ready for work and stuff. Alrighty, Freya has joined us. She's sniffing all of her stuff out because she's like, why you got my stuff out? <laughs> Where are we going? So as I already said, we have two bags, two harnesses, and a new leash and collar that I'm really excited about. And I want to start with this one. This is one of the harnesses we bought her. We knew this was like the harness that we wanted her to wear like 24 seven kind of thing. Like we wanted this one to be her forever harness kind of thing, but it's just a black harness. It does have three straps on each side, which is supposed to help with support. There's tons of padding in this, which feels great for her as it should kind of thing. But where we got this from is Fenrir. I have not taken the tags off of it yet because we haven't really used it. I put it on her once to see how it would work and if it would fit her because we ordered a large. It doesn't fit her yet. Even on like the tightest setting, it doesn't fit her yet. So we're hoping that she grows into it. If not, we're going to order a medium one too because I love this harness. I love like the geometry of it. it has a handle on the back side of it and then a thicker handle where the Fenrir is. So if you ever needed to like lift your dog, if you're like hiking or something like that, where the tag is at is one of the connecting points for like your leash. And then there's one on the front, but overall it looks really sleek. I love the design of it. The reason why we wanted this is actually because the puppy course that we used for Freya is from Fenrir. It's called the perfect puppy course and I could not recommend it enough. I've sent you guys like novels in my DMs when a lot of you guys will ask like, what did you use for training Freya or whatever? And I love the perfect puppy course. It's a lot of psychology behind it, if that makes sense. Like he really focuses on like dogs behavior and like their mindsets and stuff. And honestly, it was a lot more training like for me than for the puppy. Not everybody's like this, but to me, like teaching her new tricks and stuff like that isn't hard to me. I really didn't need a training course for that, but the training course helped a ton in like my mindset for like having a puppy, raising a puppy, training a puppy kind of thing. And I always tell you guys when you ask, like 100%, it is so good with the actual training part. <laughs> it literally breaks it down like week by week by month once they're like six months it goes all the way up until a year and then some like it's literally a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it and we followed it but I would recommend that training course to literally everybody with any kind of dog I just loved it so the actual like brand itself they have gear they have collars they have like Kongs they have chew toys they have snuffle mats all that kind of stuff and I've been wanting one of these harnesses since we started the course because it's really well made Fenrir has a YouTube channel I will link one all of this stuff down below but the harness the perfect puppy course they're you know 
know YouTube channel and stuff like that down below because they also just have YouTube videos that'll help if you have like questions and you don't want to pay for the course but I ordered that like a month or maybe two months now ago after I said that she was having some issues still with like pulling on the leash and some people recommended like front clipping harnesses so I was like perfect like I've been dying to get this I've been waiting let's just do it but we just got one too big so once this one did not fit I was like I still want to try front clipping harness though so I need to figure something out and I want to get one so I ordered another one which is why we have two now but I did order it from a brand that I have seen everywhere I think they have some in Target some in PetSmart and stuff like that and it's kind of expensive and pricey but it looks so aesthetically pleasing and like it looks so pretty so I ordered the wild one walking like set so it came with this leash, this poo bag holder with poo bags in it, and this harness. We'll go through each of these, but the harness is of course what I wanted because her other one did not fit. But I got it in the lilac purpley color because I thought this would look so cute against like her coat. But like the monochromatic and just everything about how it's made is so like modern and very, very cute. Sorry, but I'm like a sucker for packaging and like the way things look, that's great. Like I like this because it looks very like industrial and in that she's like a badass dog, but this one's like, she's cute, dainty. <laughs> we just go on walks in this but we go on like hikes in this this one only has two connecting points so obviously this is where the chest would go this is where the neck would go it has a front clipping ring here which is great and then it has a back one in the front or a back one in the back which I thought was interesting both of these are ones that go like through the head and you have to like clip behind their legs kind of thing and the reason why I haven't put this on her is because when I did try to put this on her she like freaked out and if you guys remember you've been watching my pup dates for a while when she was like three months we got her a harness and she hated it she just hasn't liked harness Harnesses. I want to take my time with this so that way she will like wearing it and I'm not like traumatizing her by putting this on her <laughs> But it's so pretty the clasps feel so nice and like secure. I don't know. I'm like a Stickler for that kind of stuff like if it gets stuck or it seems like it's gonna break or it doesn't seem like it's securely in there like I listen to that kind of stuff, especially with her collars. Like I can tell which collar is gonna hold up more or like which one I might break if she like really tries to go out of it, you know? So this one feels really secure. Everything feels like it's really tough and I love the color. Definitely not as much padding on this one than there is on this one, but there's still padding in it, which is good. But this one is like heavy duty padding. <laughs> oh, you joined us? Oh, you're gonna chew this in my lap? She has this thing that especially if we're on the edge of something, she will chew it and then drop it <laughs> because she knows I'm gonna pick it up. And it's evil because I will. But to go along with the harness, like I said, can you not drop the See, she almost rolled it off. She's chewing on her Kong. There's no peanut butter inside of it, but. <laughs> You're just throwing it off the edge on purpose. There you go. So along with the harness came the leash, which I was like most excited about because this texture is everything. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm probably gonna say it wrong. Is it like rubber? Is it silicone? I don't know, but it's not your traditional like leash. It's like rubber. Like if this were to get muddy, you would just take like a Clorox wipe to it and it's completely fine. I love the feel of this. It also just feels so sturdy. The clasps are different than like your traditional leash. It seems like it's less likely to break because you know, some of those seem like the clasps might break at any second, you know? So this feels really good. There's a D ring down at the bottom where you would like connect it to the harness or the collar or something. And then where you hold the leash is another D ring, which I of course attached the poo bag holder that it came with, which matches. I think it's really cute. And then I also clasp like the handle to it. So that way you have a handle to hold. Leashes like this, you don't have to do that. I've seen everywhere that like the proper way to hold a leash is actually to loop it over your thumb like this and then grab it inside of your hand so that this is the only thing that's showing. And like, this is how you're supposed to hold a leash. And I've done it a couple times and it definitely feels sturdy like you think your thumbs gonna break off or whatever But the pressure is actually going in the middle of your hand So it really isn't doing anything with your thumb. It just helps hold on to it I'm assuming that's why you can like disconnect it like I don't know This is just kind of like a fancy leash so you can hold it anywhere But I prefer the typical handle So if you just connect it to the d-ring then you have like a normal handle, but this just feels so like luxurious in a way I think it looks so pretty it matches the harness like perfectly obviously everything matches because that's the point of like the set. And then the set also came with a matching bag, which I think is so freaking cute. This is the bag. It's a purple bag that matches and it says wild one on it. This is actually a pocket so you can throw things in the pocket here. And then it's a magnetic in the big part so you can put random things in here. There's one side pocket and then it's just like a big pocket on the inside, but you can put your wallet, your keys or whatever, like your own personal items. You can put like treats in this front pouch. It's all like the nylon material lined so it's really easy to clean. The one thing is, is 
I definitely don't see this being easy to clean. Like it's just regular material. So if I were to wear this to the dog park and like a dog jumped on me and got its muddy paws on it, I'd be worried. <laughs> but I'm thinking that I would only use this bag if we're using the leash and harness on like a walk or we're going to the farmer's market or something like that. Like I wouldn't take this to somewhere muddy because it definitely would get muddy. It has the same little clasp. Little Miss. She's like chewing her toy right next to my tripod. It has the same like clasping structure for the bag. It's giving me like off-white vibes if you guys are familiar because on the strap it says wild one a bunch. Like it's very subtle but it's there. I think it's the perfect little like purse because it's a cute color. You can put your own stuff in it. You can fit dog treats in here. There's also a poo bag holder. Like these are poo bags that come out of the side. I didn't even notice it when I first got the bag because the side of the bag just looks like this. Like it looks like a seam, right? But on this side there's actually a hole. But there's like a hole a separate pocket in here to put your roll of poo bags and then they come out of this tiny little hole on the side of the bag like that's so unique and I freaked out when I noticed that I'm like this is perfect because it's subtle and it's cute now on to the next set I will show you the leash and collar first of course they match and I've actually hauled this stuff on my Instagram stories before this is the bag that you guys saw in Freya's 10 month pup date so some of this you guys have maybe already seen but I still want to talk about it but this is the collar for the set it's like this I don't know what to call it just polka dotted but I think it's really cute. Obviously has a ring here to put like a dog tag on and to leash your leash onto it. Obviously has a clasp. My one critique, as I said, I can tell a lot by like how well it's made by like the clasp, you know? This sometimes doesn't go in straight and I kind of have to wiggle it. Once it's in, it feels good, but that would be like my only critique is that it just kind of goes in a little rough. It has a lot of like resistance when you're putting it in. The cool thing about this though that I didn't know when I ordered it is that the collar has like padding in it. You guys can't see it, but like the black on the inside is like padding. And I've never had a collar be padded. Like the harnesses are padded, but this actually has like very light padding, nothing too serious, but it has padding, which is really weird. And then I like to have dog tags with every collar ready to go because I want to just grab and go. I don't want to switch dog tags and stuff. So this is the the dog tag that I put onto this collar. It's just a gold one. It says Freya and there's a little Viking helmet on there because her name is Freya, which is from Norse mythology. So Viking stuff. I think it's nice and big, but the gold contrasts really well with the black and white. So I'm a fan. And then I got it with the matching leash, of course. That is like double-sided. So one side is like the black and the one side is the white, which I like that little change up. There's a D-ring up by the handle for like poo bag holders and stuff. There was a matching one on the website that I didn't buy, but I love, love, love when leashes come with this. I say this every single time, so I probably sound like a broken record but I love it because I wear my leashes like this whenever we go on like walks or to the dog park and stuff when I don't want to like carry the leash so I love when they come like this because it's so much easier to wear like hands-free in a way so I love it when these come with this there's also padding on the leash which I think is crazy again I've never felt the collar be padded or the leash so very minimal nothing like too fancy but it's something that I've never had before which I think is pretty cool it has your like traditional clasp on the leash which is fine and like it works fine and stuff so I like how how these things look together and then to go along with these as like the set I got this bag which is of course for the dog but also for myself to wear and I said this on my Instagram stories but it gives me the Prada bag vibes like the other one gave me off-white vibes but this one gives me Prada bag vibes if you're familiar with the bag because the Prada bag that I'm talking about has this like extra little bag on it and she knows that sometimes I keep treats in here <gasps> there are treats in here sit But yes, that's what I use like this tiny bag for. It's just to put like treats in and it has a zipper. It's freaking great. The strap is huge, which I love. The bag itself is like the nylon material, so super easy to clean. Like I said, I wouldn't take the purple one with me to like a muddy dog park, but I would bring this one because if a mud paw got on this, so easy to wipe off. There's a small zipper pocket right here in the front that just has like one, you know, pocket there. And then the actual purse opens up to one big pocket. It's so hard for you guys to see because it's black, but there's one zipper on the inside of the bag on the back. And then there is a bungeed like mesh pocket against the side of the bag to hold a roll of poo bags because there's also a dispenser on the side of this bag. It's not as like seamless as the wild one that like shocked me. This is just a normal like poo bag dispenser kind of thing. But I love the simplicity about this bag because when I wear it, it truly just looks like a purse and it's cute. But when I bought the bag, I bought the bag with this strap, which is the same material or same like print as the leash and the collar. So that way like we would match, <laughs> which I thought was really cute. So it comes with all the same stuff. Like it has this thing here so you can attach the second bag to it. Nice and thick. Like I, I love it. The clasps are like the wild one, but just smaller of course. But I also ordered a black strap so that way if I wanted to wear it with something that like this print didn't really match, I could still wear the bag. But I found this through Instagram ads actually. I saw these so many, so many, so many times. And every time I'd be like, Marissa, don't do it. Don't do it. You don't need it. And then one day I did it. And I screenshotted my cart and posted it on my story and was like, my Instagram ads know me way too well. And I didn't say where it was from or anything like that because I 
don't like to unless I've tried them because I don't want to like tell you guys to go buy from the shop and then it was a scam because I was just risking it on an Instagram ad. So I didn't like link the shop and I really didn't say anything, but y'all were like freaking out about it. So once I got it, I like reached out to the brand to see if I can get y'all a discount code and they gave one to me. So this is not sponsored by any means. I had to pay full price for my stuff. I would honestly recommend this bag over like anything. Like the collar and the leash aspect that like matches is great and all, but the quality of like the collar and the leash isn't like wowing me. It's not something that I've never seen before. Like with the wild one, I would buy like 16 of these leashes because that's something like different. And with like the Fenrir harness, like this is amazing because there's three connecting points, so much padding. Like there's things about those things and the brands that wow me. But like the leash and the collar for this is normal. Like it's great, it does its job, but like the bag, I would buy the bag because it's adorable. So you can use Freya 20 for 20% off and you can put little Tritos in your bag and your doggo will love you. But that is it for my updated dog haul and now I gotta get ready to go to work. <laughs> I will see you guys after my shift. My shift is over and I have decided to take Little Miss to the dog park. Mainly because while I was at work, she just stayed at home. Typically I would take her to daycare, but I didn't have time. I wanna make sure she gets some energy out. And we're going to a different dog park than I tried on her 10 month pup date when there was like stuff going down. <laughs> We're waiting on the parking lot to go inside, so she is staring at them playing. But on our way here, I picked up a coffee that of course I'm gonna try with you guys. I kind of late, but I completely forgot that this existed, so I wanted to try it, but this is the Iced Taylor Latte. And if you don't know what that is, when Taylor re-released her like albums and stuff, uh, Starbucks came out with a little promotional thing of like, this is Taylor's signature drink. This is her regular drink that I guess she gets all the time, so I don't know what's in it. I'll post it right here for you guys to read. I just ordered like Iced Taylor Latte, so. <laughs> We're gonna try it. I've heard that it's terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Mm. Very interesting. I can't even pick out any like flavor profile. It's a no from me. I'd probably give it like a one or a two. Like I wouldn't order this again. I'm sure that there's people out here that would like this, not me. You would think that Taylor would have like a, I don't know, a more fun drink. <laughs> I guess this is her everyday drink though, but if I had a signature drink named after me at Starbucks that people could just order, I'd make it bomb. There's two dogs making their way inside right now. So I'm gonna let them get inside before I get her out of the car or else she'll just be extra hyper. But I'm hoping today it goes a lot better than last time. Break. dog park. Freya, you probably won't be able to see her. It's laying in the corner because she doesn't want to be done. But the sun is going down and dog parks close when like the sun sets, which is really sad because it's just like earlier and earlier <laughs> every week. But we did have like a win today at the dog park, which I'm excited about because some days it's like a hit or miss kind of thing. So nothing happened with like the dogs and stuff like that. Like everybody was nice. Freya was running around, having a grind all time, just like laps. The dogs are all chasing her. That's usually what happens because she loves to run. But she does better when she's being chased. If she's doing the chase, she gets this weird like hurting bark in her, which is totally fine. Like it's not aggressive kind of thing, but sometimes the other owners don't know that like cause she's like barking and chasing. So they'll kind of be like, oh no. And I'm like, no, it's just, she's hurting your dog. <laughs> but I personally don't like her to do that because a lot of the other people, again, don't know that it's like harmless, even though it is. And so I've been trying to get her to like not do that. And so today when she started doing that after a while, cause after she chases other dogs for a while, she'll just start to hurt them kind of thing. I'm trying to like cut that out. So I called her over, her recall, perfect, came to me. I made her lay down and she's like hyper, you know, her pupils are big, like just so worked up. And that's usually when she'll start hurting is when she's just like reached her limit kind of thing. And so I talked about this in the 10 month pup date where I've started to just be more vigilant in times like that and trying to either pull her from environments or situations before they get to be too much or like before something could happen and not even in a bad way, but just like that. I know that she was too excited because that's when she starts doing the barking and that's when other dogs usually don't like getting barked at or like the hurting nip on the butt kind of thing. Like not all dogs like that. So I want to try to cut that out. So I could tell that she was getting too excited, too hyper. She was starting to do the bark. She was starting to do the little butt nips. So I called her over made her lay down and made her just like calm down. And all the other dogs kept playing. She would look over, but she had such good engagement with me and just kept staring at me, like panting, like pupils, like huge. Like she was so excited, but I had her sit there until dog owners, you know this, but you know when they like lay versus they like lay, like they actually like roll over on their side to kind of like relax lay. I waited until she like relaxed laid and even sat there for a 
little bit longer until like her panting got a little bit more controlled and stuff. Let her calm down with me. She'd watch the dogs play. She didn't try to run away. Like she just laid with me. And I was so proud, like proud dog mom moment. And then when I could tell that she was like, you know, good, her pupils went kind of back to normal. I'd let her go play again. And it was fine. Like, ugh. Like that win will get me through the whole week. And it made me feel really good. Cause sometimes, especially puppies, like they have a hard time regulating that kind of stuff on their own. So like we have to step in as like their owners and stuff like that to help them. So that's kind of what I've started to realize, especially in that fiasco that happened two months ago or whatever in her nine month pup date was because she had reached that limit. Like her pupils were dilated. She was panting like she was crazy, but I didn't remove her from the situation and I didn't really help. It just spiraled and, and snowballed as you guys already know. But now since then I've been more vigilant and it felt good to like recognize that today and be like, oh, she's getting too excited. Let's have her calm down. And then she was able to continue. But if I wouldn't have done that, it would have snowballed. It would have got worse. She wouldn't have recalled. She would have been just too hyper to listen. And I'm just happy that I did that today. And now she's sleeping. But the sun is literally about to go down already. Really freaking sad, but I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and my new haul recommendations, all that kind of stuff. I buy way too much stuff for Freya, but it'll never stop. So I hope that they're helpful. I have gotten a couple DMs of people who have bought the black bag who've said that it's been great since they've gotten it, but I'm excited to use her purple set more. The wild one set, I'm really excited to use. But I love you guys so much, more than you'll ever know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!